This video is being sponsored by TubeBuddy. Hey content creators, ready to supercharge YouTube game? Meet my secret weapon, TubeBuddy. Why TubeBuddy, you ask? Well, it's not just a tool, it's been like having my own YouTube genie granting wishes for growth and success. From my personal experience, TubeBuddy streamlines your workflow, saving you time on thumbnail design, video uploads, and content management. It has helped me a lot with the SEO struggle as well. TubeBuddy offers tech suggestions, keyword research, and analytics to boost your video's discoverability. So get ready to own the search game. Thumbnails matter, and TubeBuddy knows this. With its user-friendly thumbnail generator, you can create eye-catching thumbnails that make your content unmissable, which can be a great help. YouTube provides deep insight into your audience, video performance, and growth opportunities so you can make informed decisions as it has helped me over these past few years. Ready to step up the game? Visit TubeBuddy.com now and unlock your full potential for your YouTube channel. Use code NEWYEAR30 to enjoy 30% off and get exclusive opportunities to qualify for YouTube's new beta tools when you upgrade to Legend for the next 48 hours. Thank you TubeBuddy for sponsoring this video. A lot of you have been requesting to see more of Jack and today we're going to be seeing how he makes his pizza. This should be interesting, especially after all the other videos that we've reviewed with Jack. Um, he hasn't failed us once to show us on what not to do with any of these recipes. And I have plenty of recipes and videos on my YouTube channel, so be sure to check those out after seeing this one. And if you do happen to enjoy this one or the others, then be sure to give them a share, give them a like, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss out on any future content. Now. Let's get started. Hey guys, okay, so we're doing cast iron pizza. This looks simple, but I'm sure I'll find a way to screw it up. <laughs> well, with that, we can both agree on. If this is the first time that you're seeing me react to Jack's cooking, just keep in mind that I have seen quite a few of his videos, well, a few of his videos, and I may be a little sarcastic with this video, maybe a little more than normal. I'm not trying to make this into like a nasty video and I do not recommend anybody to pick on Jack, all right? We're focusing more on the food, not on him, even though he can be funny at times. Go on in close and I'll show you the ingredients. So obviously some pizza sauce, some shredded mozzarella cheese. Mm -hmm. One thing that I am already liking about this video is that Jack has actually moved, so he has a nicer looking kitchen. This kitchen I like a lot more than the previous one but I don't know about this recipe. I kind of feel like Tweety Bird here in the bowl. I've got freshly cut from the deli pepperoni slices. Mm -hmm. I might, I'm still debating whether I want to cut these or leave them whole. I think I'm going to cut them into pieces. Hey, that's a big decision. Do we leave it whole or do we cut the pepperoni? All jokes aside, if the pepperoni is this big, you do, you may need to cut it. The red bell pepper, onions, and freshly picked leaves from my garden of basil. So. Let's get this thing started. Oh yeah, and don't forget the pizza dough. Pizza dough? Hold on a minute, let me grab that. Don't tell me that Jack bought the pizza dough and he's showing you on how to make a pizza at home. Aye, that's the whole part about making the pizza. I mean, come on, I mean, it's pretty easy to put the toppings on. It's the dough that you need the recipe for. Went to my bakery and grabbed a ball of pizza dough. It's a lot easier than making it myself. You wanna make it yourself? Have a party. Mm. Have a pizza dough party and make pizza dough all day long. Me personally, I don't have time. I got videos to film, so let's get started. Wait a minute, Jack is saying that he doesn't have time to make pizza dough? Let me get this straight. So Jack doesn't wanna make pizza dough for a video that he's making to show on how to make pizza because he has more things to do and it's gonna to take too much time. Okay, yeah, I understand this. So I've had a few videos where it's taken me not like three or four hours, nine to 10 hours or more to make a recipe. Now, some recipes take this long. But I do have to admit, this isn't like a lazy man's recipe, I don't think, because in the end, he's still making the pizza and not just getting a frozen pizza. First thing you wanna do, put a little oil in the pan. Even if your pan is oiled, put a little bit in there anyway. Well, this is one point for Jack. He's using, it looks like extra virgin olive oil, because if you look at the oil, it's very dark green, and normally extra virgin, a good one, is darker. And if you're going to be making like any Italian cuisine or any Mediterranean cuisine, olive oil is essential. Grab your pizza dough, slap it right in there, spread it around, get your oil up on the sides and everything. Flip it over, get oil on that side too. If you are gonna be doing this at home with the olive oil so the dough doesn't stick to the pan, you don't need to teach it on how to swim, all right? You just need to add a little bit, just enough so it doesn't stick to the pan. That's it. 
Take a little plastic wrap or press and seal, whatever you got. All right, now that we're fully covered, mm -hmm. let this set here and go preheat your oven to 500 degrees. Okay, oven's at 500 degrees. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna come in here and you're gonna shape this dough to fit in here for a pizza. You know the nice thing about Jack wearing a watch in this video is that you can actually tell how long it took him to make this and to do things. And if we look closely, you know, it's now 2.05 and it looked like he has allowed the dough to rise for about, or to at least rest or come up to temp for about 15 minutes. If you're gonna be using any pre-bought dough like this, it is important that to be able to work with it so it's more malleable, that it comes up to room temp and it's not cold because this will affect the dough. Also, it's easier to stretch so it won't tear. So if you just leave it out, you know, it's a little easier to work with. So let's shape it like that. Now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna put this in the oven and we're gonna bake this for five minutes. Make sure we got it all pushed out, we're all good. Now normally Jack always wears his ring when he's making anything. I mean, we saw him wearing his ring when he was making the buffalo burger as well. Yuck. Yuck. <laughs> nice. There are a few reasons why it's not a good idea to wear jewelry when working with like raw products or with food in general. One, because it's a little harder to clean under there and you know, it can like get infested in bacteria or whatever if you never take the ring off too. If you have little diamonds or pendants or whatever, anything on the ring that can fall off. But if we look closely a few minutes ago, Jack was working with the dough with two rings. He had one on his left and one on his right. And a few minutes later, he takes the, one of the rings off, but not the other one. I don't know, maybe he can't take it off. Maybe, maybe it's stuck. There we go. Okay, so I've already prepared my toppings. Mm -hmm. I've got the cheese in the refrigerator because I don't want it to start melting under the studio lights as I'm filming. Not under the studio lights when he's filming. Jack must have some like really powerful lighting equipment. Well, then again, this is a bit of an older video. I don't know, maybe the lights generate more heat because mine, they don't generate that much heat. I'll tell you right now because I'm freezing. I mean, I'm cold, I have the sweater on, but I'm, and the heating, but I'm still cold today. It's like four degrees out. And then I've got the basil. I don't want that starting to shrivel either. So that's in the refrigerator too. Let's put it off to the side. Let's prep our sauce. You can take regular tomato sauce. I got the kind, I got some sauce with chunks of tomato already in it. Oh, this is another point for Jack. He's using canned tomato sauce. Now, when you're making a pizza at home, it's okay to use canned tomato sauce. The canned tomatoes, are already cooked. This is part of the canning process. And a lot of pizzerias, not saying every single one, but a lot of them do use canned tomato sauce straight out of the can. If you wanna make a better pizza at home, the most important thing is to have quality ingredients. The fresher and the higher quality, the better. Then again, not everyone can get this, so it can be a little challenging depending on where you live. And I'm gonna make it even better. Take a little minced garlic, if you like. Minced garlic, great. If you're like me, you like extra minced garlic, awesome. You ever like Jack Jr.? Well, he really likes minced garlic, so there we go. Give it a little heat. Mm -hmm. Some red pepper flakes. This is how you do it. You wanna get those spices into the sauce, because that's gonna be right up against the crust and the, and the dough and everything. If there are any pizza chefs watching, please let me know down below your thoughts on this, yeah? Let me know. This is the time to let me know, to chime in. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna hold it onto the pizza better than sprinkling it on top. Okay, as you can see, it puffed up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Let's, uh, wow, that browned a little bit too. All right, so let's sauce this up, get this pizza going. Now for the average home, the average oven cannot get up to the same temperature that a pizza oven can actually get up to. Pizza ovens can range anywhere between four to 500 Celsius, yeah, or higher. With a home oven, obviously they don't get that hot. So it is a good idea to actually pre-cook it before you put all the toppings on it. Otherwise, especially if it's like this thick, it's not going to cook in the oven. Grab your cheese. Mm -hmm. Pepperoni, onions. Now see, this is one thing that Kay doesn't seem to do so much. Well, we haven't seen a lot of videos of Kay, but she doesn't seem to in the ones that we've seen. At least Jack jump cuts. He cuts out some of the boring stuff. Not all of it, 
but most of it. K? Not so much. Hiya, K. This is the longest stirring ever. Just jump forward. Don't need to show us your whole cooking in real time. Bell pepper. Bring out our basil leaf. Now again, it's not just the dough that you may have to pre-cook in the oven if you have an oven that doesn't reach high temperatures, but you may also have to cook the vegetables or any of the toppings, like say the onions and the peppers here, before actually putting them on the pizza or help to par-cook them, pre-cook them just a little bit, just to help the process along. Otherwise, they may not fully cook. Unless, of course, you like crispy vegetables on a pizza, that's up to you. And guys, if you haven't seen our actual cooking review video of Chef Ranvi's pizza, then you should definitely check that pizza video out after seeing this one. It's an easy recipe, it really is. In, in the oven you go. All right, let's bring it over right now. Whoops. Hmm. Wow. And all that water that's on top of the pizza is from the vegetables cooking. So again, if you cook the vegetables maybe a little beforehand, you won't have so much water on top of the pizza, which can make it soggy. A little bit of the juice leaked into the side of the pan, I thought it was fun. I do have to admit, this pizza, I was expecting something to look like a little worse than what we have here. This doesn't look that bad. Okay, what did I learn from this pizza? The basil burns. <laughs> so we don't want that left on there. We don't use basil again in fresh form. Now, if you're gonna be adding fresh basil, there are a few things you can do. One, you can stick it under the cheese so it doesn't like burn on top of the pizza. Or you could add it the last minute or so of cooking or just actually add it freshly to the pizza after it comes out of the oven, and then it'll wilt a little bit, but you're not going to burn it, and then it's fresh. So when you bite into the pizza, you taste the basil. All right, second thing, it's a cast iron pan, so I can cut in the cast iron pan. Wait a minute here. Jack's going to be using a pizza knife, which is round, in a cast iron skillet. The only issue with this is that the curvature of the cast iron skillet more than likely is not going to fit the circumference of the actual pizza knife. In other words, um, you're not gonna fully cut it. It's better to take it out of the pan and use it. That way, one, you don't dull the knife. Two, you can actually cut it properly. And three, you don't destroy the pizza. But look how much dough I've got. This is crazy. All right, this looks horrible. Look at this mess. The other thing about this is that his dough is a little too thick. It's not fully cooked. All right, so I'm gonna do something I've never done before. I'm doing a redo of this pizza. That's right. What did Jack say? He actually said that he messed up and he's gonna be redoing the recipe. I'm not in the mood to fail today. <laughs> so I'm going to empty this pan. I'm gonna go get another thing of dough and I'll be right back. Oh my goodness, I don't think I've ever heard him say this before. This is good, huh? Honesty. This is very good. Honesty is the best policy. All right, so this is where I went wrong, right at this point. I've redone the dough. Uh, I just pressed down on this and it kept coming back in. Pressed down, it kept coming back in. Mm. I'm gonna grab this and I'm going to take it out. And I'm going to shape it. And I'm gonna give it its structure first so that we can have a full pan pizza. Mm. That's where I messed up. I think I've got a better edge now going on. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, you look at that. Jack put his ring back on his finger. I don't know why he had to put the ring back on his finger. It, it doesn't make any sense. Just leave it off. In any case, let's see how long it took Jack to make this pizza again. Let's look at his watch. Now, if we look carefully, it's a little hard to see, Kind of looks like 257, so it kind of looks like it took him about an hour to get back to this point. Jack did save a lot of time by not making the pizza dough himself. Huh? A lot. Five minutes, we're gonna, we're gonna cook this. Just wanna make sure we're fully extended here. I'm not gonna have this thing puff up like crazy all in the middle. And then I'll show you what else I changed about this. But first, let's get this in the oven. Now, the toppings, I've diced up a little bit more. 
so they sit better. They're not sliding over as big giant pieces. I think this will do better on the pizza. Who knows? And if you cut the pizza smaller, especially the onions and the peppers here, they'll cook a little faster as well. And we're not putting the basil leaf on there because that burned in the oven. So I'm gonna sprinkle a little dry basil to give it that basil flavor. That looks way better, huh? Let's keep it going, we're on a roll. Well, he is on a roll two for two. Hopefully this one will turn out better than the last. All right, so we're gonna sauce it up first. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I don't have any mozzarella cheese, so we're going Mexi Blend. Well, Jack's gonna be honest today. This is good because some of his recipes, yeah, some of them, he says that they were excellent, especially when he tasted them and said, mmm, with the enchiladas and also mmm, with the garbage soup. I don't know. I think this actually may be good. I do. This I don't think is going to turn out bad. I'm gonna lay down some cheese right now. My onions, my bell peppers, my pepperoni, and top it off a little bit of cheese. Why do I do this? Because it really holds the topping together. Right, time to vote. If you guys can, stop the video right now and comment on whether or not you think this is going to turn out well. Vote yes, you think it's gonna turn out well, or no, you don't think it's gonna turn out well like Jack's other videos. I think, like I just said, I think it will turn out well. I knew a pizza place called Numero Uno's. All the toppings went completely under the cheese. All right, that's it. Let's do this. Let's, oh, I'm forgetting the basil. Give a little sprinkle some basil. So anytime that you're going to be like sprinkling salt, uh, pepper or herbs as, as well for this matter, it's a better idea to put them in your hand and then sprinkle with your hands instead of just, you know, doing this with the container because what can happen is too much falls into one spot or even worse, the top comes off and then, you know, you dump everything out. Let's get this back in the oven for the 15 minutes. Keep an eye on it. I think I pulled mine out a few minutes early. I'll give you the end time below, but let's nail this recipe. <laughs> Look at that. Does that look better, huh? No, oh, I do have to admit, it does look better. There you go. Nice big slices. It looks like Jack did a little better as well by stretching the dough out to allow it to cook because it looks like the dough is fully cooked. It's not undercooked. Even though it's still, to me, a little too much dough, which, you know, the dough is the most important thing. It's just, it's just too much dough. Beautiful. I'm gonna do this one right here. Beautiful. It came out good. Can you believe I did a redo right there on the spot? No, me? I can't believe that he did a redo on the spot. Can you guys believe that he did a redo on the spot? I'm telling you, this is gonna be burning hot. Hang on a minute. Mmm. Hot. Oh, hot. Mm, Jack's sauces and seasoning. If there is anybody that has tasted this, a few of you have told me in the past, but if there are, is anybody else that wants to share their experience with tasting his sauces and seasonings, um, let us know. I'm all ears, yeah? I'm curious to know if this is like something that he did good with or if it's like the worst stuff you've ever had and you want to, you had to throw it out. Mmm, so much better. I, the pepperoni is amazing. I got it sliced at the deli. I didn't get the prepackaged kind, but I got it cut fresh. He also got the dough pre-made as well, which is not a bad thing. If you don't have the time or you want to save a little bit of time and effort on this, you can do the same thing. His pizza actually probably turned out a little better than it would have if he had made it himself. It's good, the onions, oh, dicing the ingredients was so much better. It's so evenly flavored. When I bit into it, I could taste everything, the bell pepper, the onions, the, even the basil came out, that little sprinkling of basil. I can taste the heat from the red, uh, crack uh, pepper, not red crack pepper, the um, uh, crushed red pepper, that's it. Um, I'm very impressed. Oh, well, Jack, you're not the only one that's impressed. I'm actually quite impressed with him as well. This is way better than the last one. So there you go, it is cast iron pizza. Give it a try, don't forget to stretch it out nice and good with your hands. Gently have a little oil on your hands and make it shaped. Pull it all the way to the, the rim of the pan, don't let it come in. And I will see you on the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.
Surprisingly, even though Jack did cheat by getting the dough pre-made and just showed you how to put a few toppings and cheese on it and stick it in a pan and cook it, I mean, that's nothing. You honestly don't need a video on that. But still, giving him the benefit of the doubt, he did do a good job with the components and the dough that he had. And if you have a recipe that you can make at home that you like and enjoy, that's the most important thing. Hopefully you did get a little bit of information out of this video and a few laughs as well. If you have any questions or comments or moreover, if you have any suggestions on other videos for us to review, then let us know down below. Be sure to check out this next video coming up here. And if you haven't seen any of our other Jack reviews or pizza reviews or as well, then be sure to check all of those out after seeing this video. Until next time, take care.